So after you build the rocket, you need to build some kind of shell to attach the top of this thing. And I watched a lot of videos and used a bunch of different people's ideas. So this stuff isn't my own by any means. So if you see something in here that was your idea, then I don't remember who you were. So thank you. But um, I'm going to start off with an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. And this is like maybe a little bit lighter weight than what a three by five index card would be. And I have this wooden stick here that what I did is I marked 11 inches and then I divided it by three, which is three and 11 sixteenths roughly. And I marked that off into three and 11 sixteenths increments. And then over here, I came in nine sixteenths of an inch and nine sixteenths of an inch and put a mark. And I'll show you why. So this piece of paper here, I'm going to lay this stick on here and I'm going to mark these the nine sixteenths, nine sixteenths, and then the two or three and eleven sixteenths, and then the three and eleven sixteenths. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of the paper. 9 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths, and so on. So I'll have marks that look like this. So I'm going to connect together and have lines. So this line, this line, what you're going to cut. So I'm going to After you have those cut, you have three pieces of paper, one with lines that are 9 sixteenths in and 9 sixteenths in, and all three of them are the same width and length. So one of the things that, you, that kind of really help is I made this. This is a piece of two inch inside diameter PVC pipe. And I took some Bondo body filler and I filled one end a little bit. You see I put three marks on here. and what you do is that this pipe is about two and three eighths overall in width. So I got the circumference by wrapping this around here and it's seven and a half. So take seven and a half and divide it by three and come around here. That's two and a half. So these will be two and a half inches apart. And that will give you three equal spaces along this thing. Okay? So the first thing you want to do is get the piece of paper that you have the lines on it. Start wrapping around here. Put the edge of the paper right on one of those lines. Okay. Just wrap it around. Okay. Now, so after you have the first layer around here with the lines on the inside, you could take some Elmer's glue or some wood glue. Just put a real small bead. Then smear this out with your finger real thin. If you smear it out real thin like that, then it'll dry really fast so that you could basically start it here and just, and it almost instantly will hold. So that's what you'll have. So get that seam lined up on that first line, okay? Then take your other piece of paper and start at the other one the other the second line and then wrap this one around same thing a little bit of glue like that. and then put that one on then do the same thing with the third piece of paper and what you end up with three seams that all the overlaps will be equally spaced so that the paper will have the same strength all the way around so after, and I have all three of these layers glued together, the lines should be on the inside. Then I take my scissors, and I'm just gonna cut up to that line in about half inch increments. So you end up with something like this. Okay. 
So you just do that all the way around. So after you have one side all cut, like so, get a little piece of cardboard and take your former here and just trace around the perimeter. And then cut this out, but go on the inside of the line. So what I did is I cut this circle, and this is actually really, really thin plywood that I have. I have a whole roll of it, it's like a veneer. And you could use regular cardboard, I'm just gonna use this stuff because it's easy to work with. But um, put the shell back in your form. Put that right in the top like that. And <clears throat> take your wood glue or Elmer's glue and put a bead around it like that. And when you smear this thin, and it'll start to dry, it'll really tack up and make this a lot easier. So then after you do that, you're going to take a layer, just go around here and drop these down. And if they don't, if they don't stick all the way down, that's okay. We'll, we'll do something about that. So after the first layer, I'll take another bead of glue, go around it like that, and then the opposite way that I pleated it, I'm gonna run my finger over this and it's gonna force all the glue between all the pieces that are slightly sticking up. And after that, I'm gonna smear it out, get it thin so it gets tacky. And then start on the other side and then you'll cover this pleat Okay, so after we folded all three layers over and glued it, I smeared some glue around here and just let it dry. <clears throat> and now you have a rigid can. Okay, so now <clears throat> we're gonna make the the fast spoolette fuse or time fuse, but it's it, it's gonna be quick. So. I have a piece of artillery shell fuse that burns really fast and you could use black match or any any of that paper fuse that burns really fast and I cut a piece of this paper that cardstock inch and three quarters wide so I'm going to take this fuse and just roll it up in this paper it's about three sixteenths in diameter about like that Then, I'm just going to take a really small dot of glue, put it right there so that that fuse doesn't slide out of there if it's loose. So the can that we just made, I'm going to take a pen like this, this little tapered part right here. I'm going to, actually from the inside, I'm going to push a hole through the center of this. Come through the other side a little bit. If it's cardboard, it, it works a lot nicer. So, then I'm going to take this. I'm going to push it in the thing here. 
a little glue around here. And twist it and push it down until it's sticking out about three eighths of an inch maybe. So the end of that fuse is right in the center of the shell, right here. Okay, then at this point, I've got this little tube here. And this is gonna serve two purposes. And th this is about three quarters of an inch in diameter. It's a little less than that. I got a pair of side cutters. I'm gonna cut this tube right down the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna come around, get this tube. I'm gonna put glue around here. Let it kind of fall on the inside. I'm just gonna set that right on top of the shell. That's what we end up with. I'm gonna let this dry for a while. So this isn't the same casing, but this one's dry. So now, this is what we have. This is all dried up. Then from this point, take another piece of cardboard, or whatever you're gonna use, and take the other half of that tube and glue it on here. So then, this is what you have. I've got this thing packed, and I put some W20 stars around for a minute of this. They're not primed, but I think because the corners are so sharp that they'll light all right. Then I'm gonna fill the rest of this with the brake. Then I'm gonna take this part, put it right on the top. Then I'm gonna glue these just like I did on the other side. Now, this is what the shell looks like, and it's pretty pretty tight, can't really squeeze it around. Now we need to spike it, and I have some hemp twine here. I'm just going to tie a traditional kind of knot and around this end here. I'm just going to cinch this on here. Push it down. Okay. That's what we end up with. Now, I'm gonna start, I have this on the left side of this tube. I've got the spool on the ground, I'm holding it tight with my foot. I'm just gonna go straight up the side here. Right around. Then, when I get right back to where I started, I'm just gonna turn it 90 degrees. That. And keep going. It's kind of hard to do while you're trying to keep it in the camera. Rotate it 90 degrees. Well, I just spiked this whole thing and then realized that my battery died. But the purpose behind this is you want this to be really, really tight. It should almost like make the paper bubble. You want to squeeze everything out of it so it's, it's hard as a rock. If you could go like this and it's spongy and moving, then you want it to be tighter than that. And I'm not going to do this again. I'm not very good at it, but there's a lot of people that have videos on how to do this and they're really good at it so check them out.